bloke who's dedicated his entire life to road safety. Every year, 50,000 people are killed or seriously injured on Britain's roads. One third of them are under the age of 25. That's 16,000 young victims. One man has made it his life's work to reduce the carnage. Dave Taylor may seem an unlikely candidate to advise people about road safety and restrained behavior. He's best known for taking risks and living dangerously. But Dave maintains that having respect for the risks involved keeps him safe and is quite different from the irresponsible behavior on our roads. He learned the message of road safety the hard way. When I was 19 years of age, two of my best friends were killed in road accidents. I saw them die. That really upset me, but what upset me even more was seeing the grief that destroyed both families within just a year. And that changed my life. It's his very reputation for daredevil display riding that grabs his audience's attention and makes them listen. It is not the means of transport on the road that is dangerous. It is the age group that is dangerous. And you are right now either coming up to or are in that dangerous age group, 16 to 25. Today is a very ordinary, very pleasant day in the year. But today, in this country, at least 150 people are going to be killed or seriously injured after getting involved in accidents on the roads. And tomorrow it's going to be exactly the same. There'll be another 150. And the next day, another 150. You never read about that in the newspapers. You never see it on TV. Why? Well, it's not news anymore, is it? Because it happens every single day. And besides, nobody really cares too much in this country about road accidents. This is road safety with the gloves off, and it hits home. A sharp contrast to how it's normally presented. In the 60s, road safety was limited to being a badge-holding member of the Tufty Club. Later on, we we're all exhorted to follow the Green Cross Code, which is great if you want to cross the road, but not much good if you actually want to drive on it. Remember that rev, rev, rev technique? Dave believes the best solution is professional instruction. At the moment, it's compulsory for motorcyclists, but he believes it should be compulsory for drivers as well. Right, Jenny, are you all sitting comfortable? Yes, thank you. Yes, have you done your mirrors? Yeah. Dave's support from BSM is coming to an end, so his powerful lectures may be unable to continue. However, this scheme where schools and road safety officers organize group tuition to cut costs is encouraged by him. It may be at low speed, but at least essential car control can be learned to avoid the panic situation where you hit the accelerator rather than the brake. Dave Taylor is clear what changes must be made. We need compulsory basic training for car driving, we need a stiffer driving test and we need P-plates. The government and other organisations spend millions of pounds on research into road accidents. We know all the answers, we've known the answers for 10 years, but no one's got the spine for action. The day that you've passed that test is the very first day that you start learning to drive for real. And it's only fear Fear for the dangers that exist on the road that will actually keep you alive when you go out on the road riding bikes or driving cars. I didn't have any idea that that many people died in a day just in this country, let alone in the world. But yeah, it's frightening to think. You know, you're taking a risk every time you get in a car now. We're more cautious than the boys. I mean, boys like to show up and, you know, they've got a bit of power behind them. They'll go faster than girls. I mean, girls get more frightened, really. Have you ever felt nervous driving with anyone? Um, when I've been on the back of bikes, yeah, but not in cars, really. But for Dave, it doesn't stop there. Along with the Princess Royal and other celebrities, he supports Riders for Health, part of Save the Children, providing health care in remote parts of Africa. He's been there himself and taught health workers to ride and also to maintain their bikes, which have huge advantages in covering rough ground and getting access to remote villages, bringing them health care and medicine. You can buy a dozen bikes for the price of a single Land Rover. To raise money for Riders for Health, Dave is planning to repeat his most famous stunt. Next week, he's going to wheelie around the entire Isle of Man TT circuit. That's 37 miles and more than half an hour precariously balanced on one wheel.